Hey everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we'll be addressing the slow performance of the UE5 editor by switching off certain features in the editor. I will explain what these features do and if you should disable them or not. So let's get into it. The first feature to disable would be turning off virtual shadow maps. You can do that by going to Edit, Project Settings, then scrolling down to rendering, then scrolling down to shadows, and then changing your shadow map method for virtual shadow maps in beta to shadow maps. Now virtual shadow maps is kind of a new way to render shadows in Unreal, and it could look amazing, but if your project is targeting DX11, it will kill your performance. If you are developing for DX12 or Vulkan, you don't really need this step at all. If you did this step, keep in mind that you will have to rebuild your lighting to see accurate shadows again. The second feature to disable would be Temporal Super Resolution. You can do that by going to Edit, Project Settings, Rendering, and then you scroll down till you find Default Settings. Then you uncheck the Temporal Super Resolution box. Now what Temporal Super Resolution does is actually cleans up lower resolution scaling and actually makes them look cleaner by using an algorithm. Now while this looks great when you're using a low resolution scale, the moment you use a 100% resolution scale, it kinda kills your performance. The third feature to disable, if the previous two didn't help enough, is Lumen. You can do that by going to Edit, Project Settings, scrolling down to Rendering, and then scrolling down to Global Illumination and changing Dynamic Global Illumination method from Lumen to None. Now Lumen is the new kind of, but not really, ray tracer for Unreal that can run at high frame rates and deliver impressive visual fidelity, but it currently could lead to low performance on certain older hardware. So if you really want good performance, you're going to have to bake a lighting from now on. The last feature to disable but only if the other three did not help, would be Nanite. Now Nanite should not work by default, but if you are working with low poly assets, Nanite will actually be pretty slow for them, so please do not enable Nanite for low poly objects, only enable them for high poly objects. Anyway, all these features are only suggestions. I would personally recommend just turning off virtual shadow maps and temporal super resolution, because those usually give me enough FPS. Anyway, that wraps it up for the video, and thanks for watching. You can subscribe, hit like or dislike, I don't care. Good night!